Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. Hey, it uh, looks like it's about five after three on this old Chinese clock hanging here. That one's from about 1905, runs good. The wife's just about ready to pull in the driveway. I gotta go upstairs and fix her some dinner. You know, she's been working hard all day and, and I've been lollygagging, you know what I mean? What to do, what to do, what to do. You think I ought to pull that clock off the wall and clean it? Nah, it's running good. Ah, so's that one. Hey, so are those. Hey, as you can see, I'm in my old workshop down in the basement cave. I wonder what's what's happening today. Ho, oh, hey, there's a guitar, a 12 string laying there. That's my old Art and Luther, 1990 Art and Luther. And I did a video on this guitar a, a, a couple of years ago concerning belly bulge on this guitar. Now, uh, I've kept this guitar maintained. The strings are not high here. The strings are not high. And uh, in fact, I just took this guitar, loosened the strings up uh, about a week or so ago, and uh, I hydrated this guitar. I put a, uh, like a peanut butter lid in there, a deep, uh, out of a wide jar made a, a wick out of a paper towel and uh, wet it down, stuck it in there, let it set for about three days and covered this hole up. And in the meantime, I put a, a board across there with two clamps and the board on the bottom and clamped that down and uh, hydrated that guitar. Oh, by the way, I've had this yard stick right here since my dad used to beat me with it, you know what I mean? So I've had that a while. So what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna change the strings on this guitar and I'm waiting for the mailman to bring me a bridge doctor. And we're gonna install a bridge doctor on this. Now this bridge doctor I bought, it, uh, the back row of these pegs right here, it comes with brass pins that go in here and they screw, in the, screw underneath and then the D string right there, the bridge doctor fastens to this, this then there's a bracket that goes down, then a dowel rod that butts up to the back brace of this guitar right here and you tighten it up and you actually bring the bridge like this. However, I uh, haven't seen a bridge doctor yet so I don't know about this, but what I'm thinking is I'm gonna leave these all these pegs except for the D-string in there and I'm gonna put the brass pin in there that hooks to the bridge doctor. If I can do that, that's what I wanna do because I think I, I don't think that would look out of the ordinary. Might, might be a conversation uh, starter, I'm not sure, but I think I'm gonna save those brass pins for another day and uh, use the pegs and just install that one brass pin right there for the bridge doctor. But hey, I'm waiting for the old mailman to bring that out and uh, as soon as he gets here, I'm gonna bring it down and start this project. Okay, I'll be talking with you in a little bit. Hope you had a good Christmas. Alrighty, I'm down here with my uh, my Art and Luther 12 string. Got this package in the mail, if you can see it. Let me find my pocket knife. You know, if you don't have a pocket knife, go buy yourself a pocket knife. Don't be walking around half naked, you know. Well, let's see if we can get into this thing without cutting our fingers off. Alrighty. You know what's nice when you got the, the wife is out at work, you can order stuff off of eBay and it comes and she's at work. And then if she sees it, you just say, well, I've had that for a while, you know? I learned that from her. Got to get the, we got to get the scissors out. All right, let's get it laid out here. Let's see what we got here. Man, I must work at Staples because there's nothing but Staples in this thing. All right, let's see. 
This is our instructions. Have I got that upside down? No, I don't. Okay, that's the instructions. And here's the actual uh, bridge doctor mechanism. Screw goes in here. And the style rod, it's got an Allen screw in there. Style rod goes in here. This butts up uh, on the block of the guitar. And then you tighten this up right here. But we have to take this out and cut this off here to the right length. This goes up to your bridge, screws up to the bridge. This goes towards the neck, on the uh, next side on the bridge. But what we uh, have for the 12 string, we have these pins. And they send you six pins. And I don't, I don't think I'm going to need all these pins. There's one particular pin. Now let's see. Or maybe there's not. I saw a video uh, that one pin had four holes in it. But anyway, it's got a hole here. String goes through that. I think I'm going to only use one of these. It will go on the D string like this, if you can see that. And uh, hey, we'll get busy. I'm going to be pulling these strings off. I uh, use the side cutters to cut these off. Hate to, better make sure I got some strings, I guess, for it. But anyway, get to the point of this whole rambling video. I got this. Everybody's got a uh, winder, but these have side cutters and a winder, and then you got your thing here to, you know, to pull. But anyway, loosen your strings up first before you chop them off of there, you know what I mean? Yeah, you don't have to be uh, like that, so on and so forth, you know? Oh, Christmas present sitting there. It's a combination, could be a jewelry box, but it's a, it looks like a carpenter's toolbox. My, uh, I got my, uh, uh, Guitar stuff in the bottom. I got my tuner, my gauge, all that stuff. And then up here, clock keys, clock little clock screws, all of this stuff. Man, it comes in handy. My daughter and son in law got that for me. It's pretty cool. Okay, I've got every other string off of here right now. I'm going to leave these. I'm going to take leave these strings on just for right now. I can get in there. I got to loosen them up a little bit. That way I just got the back strings off right now. now. But this is what I'm talking about. This goes on your D string right here. It attaches like that. Here's, the, here's your bridge doctor right here. This would fit underneath inside the guitar. It needs to be cut off. And it would, uh, this, oh God, I've lost it. Here it is. This would go through your bridge, attach here like this on the D string, fit inside the guitar like that with this cut off a little bit. But I see no reason to take these brass pins and put them through here. I just need this one right here. That's all I want. That's all I want. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that done, cut this off with the saw. I've got some, uh, I like to use, on my acoustics, I like to use Martin strings and uh, on a on a uh, 12 string I really haven't tried or anything uh, uh, heavier than a 10 gauge I think that's plenty on a on a uh, 12 string but uh, I always like to use Martin strings on my acoustics uh, one good reason is I don't have a Martin guitar you see I got Art and Luther here and you can always tell somebody, you know, there's at least 12 parts on this guitar that are pure, genuine Martin. You know, that's something to think about. Well, anyway, let me see if I can't get this thing installed. This uh, little video segment right here is for Randy, the house that never sleeps. 
guitar repair. Just to just to show you I have been paying attention. Check that out right there, man. That's some Indiana redneck stuff right there. Holds the strings back and everything. It's a pair of needle nose, and I learned it on your channel. There you go. Okay, I've got this bridge doctor installed. Uh, it's not, I mean, at least the block. And I've got this brass pin. I'm turning it here. This is this what you see as a needle for sewing tarp uh, or canvas or whatever. It's got a sharp edge on this side here. Okay, there's four holes in this thing. I'm uh, spinning that. And uh, hopefully, and then, as you can see, right there, I just have the dowel rod stuck in there so I can see if that bridge doctor is square and also hold it from turning. When I turn this, I can hold it and make sure the bridge doctor is square with the guitar by that dowel rod right there. And, uh, all right. All right, I'm about ready to cut the dowel rod. I got this miter box here I bought about a million years ago. So you can see the right down there, put the, uh, the thing there, got it marked and everything. And, uh, Gonna use this back saw right here. Put that in there and do some damage. Hopefully I got it marked right, huh? I uh, already got everything uh, installed inside the guitar. Got the uh, the one pin that I think that's all all we need right there. I don't know about all that six uh, brass pins back there. I don't know. That's cool, but hey, the one pin that's all you need. Alrighty. Okay, got the dowel rod cut. Got this uh, piece of this sandpaper. I'm going to go ahead and uh, sand the rough edges off to make it uh, work easier. Also, uh, while I was working on this dowel rod, it, it goes in through the, the uh, uh, bridge doctor bracket kind of stiff. So I uh, shined it up with a little of this Johnson wax. I love this stuff. The Johnson paste wax. Uh, put a little on there, rubbed it in, rubbed it in there. It's uh, a little bit easier to work with. But anyway, I'm going to take this and uh, kind of taper that up a little bit, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and stick it in and see what happens. Okay, it uh, is a done deal. I stopped cranking on that thing before I tore something up. I'm not real sure what the limit is. I just kind of kept checking with this straight edge right here, and uh, man right there it's flat and this way here I would say it's flat from here to here but you can see it's a bit concave right there I don't think that's a problem I'm gonna go ahead and throw some uh, new wires on this thing and play your tune on this and see what happens all right hang in there all right I'm about ready to throw these strings on here I always line them up like this because I'm just so absent-minded I don't know what the heck's going on most of the time and uh, and we're gonna start with the big E's big E and then work our way to little E and uh, let me kind of wipe the dirt and dust off of this thing while I got a chance I'm gonna clean the, the fretboard with a little uh, linseed oil here here I'll show you something look at these see that and that's why I don't eat at the fast food restaurants anymore. See that? Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, I got the old 12-string uh, all put back together. I want to kind of recap as to what I did with this guitar. Uh, I put the Bridge Doctor in there. And also, the Bridge Doctor comes with six brass pins like this, as you can see right here. I, th I thought it only necessary to use one. I think it's... Hey, that's that's all you need right there. You want to put the six in there, it's cool, but you know what? You got nuts and bolts to maintain in there through the years. I don't. I got one, one, one thing in here, and that's it. You know what I mean? So let's see what we did. We put the strings on. We got the Martin strings, the tens. Also, when you uh, uh, install a string strings on your nut on your nut right here. I use this. Uh, this stuff I've had for a million years. It's graphite. It comes in a tube. You buy it at the hardware store, East Hardware, Cablins over in Laporte, if you live over this way. I take it and I put a little on there like that and kind of rub it in a little bit. Then I put my strings on. Also, 
when you're putting strings on a guitar, any guitar, 12 string, 6 string, electric, acoustic, make sure these nuts are tight. That's a good chance, you know, and then clean everything. I oil myself, I don't know if I would recommend it or not, but I've been doing it for years. I've got, I use Old English, which is like linseed oil, and I oil this fretboard and uh, before I put my strings on. And uh, there you go. I guess that's about it. We're going to take it for a test run here in a second. And uh, also, I like this tuner. Can you see this tuner right here? But the way my style of picking a guitar, if it's right here where it's supposed to go, yeah, man, I, I'm looking for it inside the. Uh, I'm looking for it. I'm looking for the tuner inside the doggone guitar half the time if I have it there because I pick upwards like this with my fingers and I just pick that thing right into the guitar, man. If you ever seen Gary Mule Deer on the, Gary Mule Deer on the uh, Grand Ole Opry, that's about what it looks like. He drops his pick inside to get, never mind. I, have to, I don't have to explain this, I guess. But uh, uh, Okay, let me take it for a test run and see what happens. Hope, hope nothing falls apart. Also, when you tune in your guitar... Electric, acoustic, yeah, you know, the old uh, headstock tuners are cool, but these are better. And if you got an electric guitar, you plug it in, you know, you, I put mine right there and tune her up like that. I don't know if that'll help you or not, but there you are. Long and lonesome highway, east of Omaha. You can listen to the engine moaning out its one note song. Think about the woman, the girl you knew the night before. And your thoughts will soon be wandering the way they always do. When you're riding 16 hours, nothing much to do. Feel much like riding, and wish the trip was true. Well, here I am on the road again. Here I am up on the stage. Here I go playing star again. Here I go turn the page. Walking to a restaurant, strung out from the road, and you feel the eyes upon you that you're shaking off the cold. Pretend it doesn't bother you, you just want to explode. Yeah, most times you can't hear them talk, but the times you can it's the same old cliche. You see a woman or a man, you always see that number. Here I am, on the road again, here I am, up on the stage, here I go, playing star again, here I go, turn the page. in the spotlight a million miles away and every ounce of energy try and get away Spit pours out your body like the music that you play later in the evening as you lie awake in bed the echoes of the anthem bar still ringing in your head smoke the day's last Cigarette, remembering what she said. Well, here I am on the road again. Here I am up on the stage. Here I go 
playing star again. Here I go, turn the page. Here I am, on the road again. Here I am, up on the stage. Here I go, playing star again. Like go. All right, she's playing pretty good, I think, though, to be critical, I think I'm at, I, I, I lost just a little bit of volume for some reason, unless it's just being down here amongst this furniture and carpet. Uh, that might be it there, but it seems like it's just a lower, little bit lower volume. But uh, all in all, she's playing pretty good. Got the strings low, back is flat. It's okay. Hey, talk to you later. Bye now. Thanks for watching.